Hello and welcome to wherever you are and whatever time you're at. Welcome to this little reflection on the idea of writing, perhaps reading in our society today. My name is Kat Fitzpatrick and I am a freelance writer, teacher, and outdoor educator. I, as reflecting today, it's June 1st, beautiful day here in upstate New York in 2024. And as you may or may not know, I write quite a bit about Vietnam because I spent some time there as a child just before this little thing, the end of the Vietnam War. And today I was writing about somebody who was there at the same time as I was. However, he was busy being a national security advisor analyst and essentially a spy. I was busy being a third grader. He wrote a book called The Last of the Enemies. Now, Tom Glenn, he died a year ago, coming up on June 4th. What really struck me about his writing in 2015, as I was just a few years into my research on many dis different aspects of the Vietnam War, I found out that he had written a lot because he used it as recovery for all the things he went through in Vietnam, both in the embassy, in the fall of Saigon, and before. And in my writing, there was a question like, is this a healing prospect? I did not actually find all this writing about Vietnam healing. It was a lot of research into very difficult matter. I don't even want to always go into it, but I felt like I had to go there if I'm going to write responsibly about the Vietnam era, especially since I was in third grade when I was there. So I read widely, and when I came across his article called Bitter Memories, he wrote about how much he used writing after the war to get through what he knew, well, later he was able to term it post-traumatic stress injury. There's some it's been called a disorder, but can you only imagine if you are in battle and you are under high duress, that is not a disorder if your body is responding in a, and your mind is responding in a very um, chaotic way. You're trying to make sense of what happened and really there's no sense. So it's been termed a disorder, which is a disservice. Now, being called in many places and it's trying to get changed. It has been changed officially. Um, at least I saw one proclamation and I believe it was in Minnesota. Post-traumatic post -traumatic stress injury because it's not a disorder and we can heal from injuries. Well, in his book, this is about the last days in Vietnam. In his author's note, he wrote, I wrote the last of the enemies to find peace. I returned in May 1975, an emotional wreck after living through the fall of Saigon and escaping under fire after the North Vietnamese were already in the streets of the city. I had pneumonia and ear damage and suffered all the symptoms of post-traumatic stress injury, flashbacks, nightmares, irrational rage, panic attacks. But because he'd been a top clearance spy, he couldn't just go and go to therapy he was not able to. So he turned to writing. And the question that I had posed on the short video was, is writing healing? Sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. But it's always an activity. You always feel as if you're doing something. You don't necessarily have to like what you're writing. You don't have to keep it. You don't have to try to sell it. But the activity of writing can open doors and can change things. We can't change the past, but we can change our relationship to the past. And so did Tom Glenn find healing in writing this book? Well, I like the way he put it in the final paragraph of his author's note. I have found an imperfect peace, thanks to my writing and public speaking about Vietnam. And he finished also with, I have learned that compassion heals Maybe in the process of telling Vietnam stories, I can express for others what they cannot express for themselves. And maybe I help heal them too. I have to admit, when I was having a hard time doing this Vietnam writing, but my dad did an evacuation. He took out a thousand people at the end of the war. I was evacuated out earlier that month with my six siblings and my mom. 
I was not always finding this easy, but I did find that as I was speaking to others about the writing I was doing, it, there often seemed to be a healing moment. So the work I was going through wasn't just for myself or for my father. There seemed to be some kind of healing aspect to it. And what is healing? It is simply taking something that feels like it's torn asunder and synthesizing it back together. And through words, we can often make sense of things where it didn't feel like there was sense before. This doesn't mean it's conclusive. It doesn't mean it's the end all and be all. It doesn't mean that if you have a good day writing, you're healed, or if you have a bad day writing, you're not healed. Writing is an opportunity to work with the thoughts in our minds and in the pieces that feel like they're concretized, like they're stuck. But through writing, or other artwork too, it doesn't necessarily have to be writing, but writing is one thing I use a lot, although I do do some art. But it is kind of this miraculous thing where he, he sought peace by writing this book. And at the end, he had an imperfect piece, but an imperfect piece is better than no piece or sitting there where you feel like you're just stuck in injury. So today, I hope that you might find a little inspiration in this for the idea of, it doesn't have to be immediate action, but the idea of using writing as a tool in your life to make a difference for the way you feel, the direction you might be going. Um, we're all, I just love Dory's thing, just keep swimming. Just moving forward is a way of moving and it is, time is going to pass and we're like in the flow of it. So if we feel like we're swimming with it and moving forward, then I believe that's kind of one of the greatest miracles of all. So thanks for joining me in this little time and this beautiful first day of June in 2024. This video could be traveling far into the future or not very far at all. It doesn't really matter. It's an activity that I'm doing and reaching out into the world. And just like writing, it has an opportunity to be something, but I don't know what it is yet and what it might be. So again, thanks for joining me. My name is Kat Fitzpatrick. My book is For the Love of Vietnam, A War, A Family, A CIA Official, and The Best Evacuation Story Never Heard. I also have a short little chat book called The Fight to Write. So if you're interested in writing, it has some good, I think, some good advice in there of just how to get started and a few little ways of looking at writing. It can sometimes be a fight, but it, and it can sometimes bring healing. But more than anything, it's simply an opportunity and one that I hope you take advantage of. Until next time, please do take care.